Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new kit review. Um, this one is somewhat controversial in the community right now, but um, I wanted to give my honest opinion of this scope. This is the Melee by Ping Lao. Melee or Melee by Ping Lao. Um, and it is a toddler. She is said to be about 32 inches and um, her head circumference is supposed to be 16 inches and um, yeah so it comes with a certificate of authenticity but it doesn't have like the kit name on the actual certificate it just says It just looks like this. Hang on. So that's that's the way it looks. So anyway, it's, I guess it's an open edition. The kit costs two hundred and nine dollars, I think, at ninety nine cents. Um, but these are the legs. Um, so I'm gonna get into. First, I want to say. Um, I wasn't sure if I would try to paint this myself or not because it is German vinyl and German vinyl I've never painted German vinyl well I tried one time and it didn't go so well um but I've never really tried German vinyl sorry guys I never really tried German painting German vinyl I mean well I did and it didn't go so well um, but anyway, um, I really, really like this one. Um, I seen the photographs and stuff, um, of the prototype artist. Okay. So let's start with her legs. So I'm going to first show you the kit and then I'm going to give you my opinion. All right. Um, we going to go through this together. So these are her legs. So, and her. So her legs are like this and she has little cute little kneecaps. Very cute, realistic feet. Um, Sometimes I've seen toddlers where the feet are just big and flat, but these are pretty decent. And they're a good size. Um, so those are her legs. Now they stop at the knees because the body goes oh so let's 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 kind of fake put it together as much as possible i don't know how to do the connector so i don't know how that's gonna work but let's just for all intent purposes so we can get an idea of the actual size of the kit being that that is the big controversial topic is a lot of people were disappointed in the size of the kit they thought that the kit was like more childlike size than toddler i guess and i heard even some people was like the kit was supposed to be 36 inches but on irresistible sight it does say 32 inches which i think limb is 28 to 29 inches so it's only like two two inches bigger than the uh, the limb by Bonnie Brown. Now, when I got the limb, because I wanted to make his body size bigger or longer, I did a lot of research on the size of an actual toddler, their measurements as far as head circumference, their length, and limb was definitely on target and even if I changed him around it made him still be on target for the size that I wanted him to be I'm gonna have to get oh I got some right here so really I love her kneecaps <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but I love I love the sculpting of the kneecaps I love the um
you know, some people say that lamb to them is, is more of a nine month old size, size baby. And I'm like, I don't know. But then I didn't have like really gigantic babies. Um, all right. So I'm running out of poly fluff. So I might have to grab some more poly fluff. So this is the body. So let me get her some more poly fluff. Because this is going to help us see the size. And I don't even know how I would weight this in real. All right. So I think that might be enough. All right. So this baby actually comes with a torso. This is my very, guys, this is my very, very first baby with connectors, with the torso. Like, this is just my first. And I'm not, I'm doing this with you guys for the first time. So this is the torso. And then it has these little, this little groove around it, just like you would with the legs and stuff, so that you can um, put it on the body. Now, I'm assuming something goes okay because it come with these little things but it only came with two it came with these two things this and this and i'm assuming that somehow i'm assuming that somehow maybe this goes in between here I don't know like I don't know what where this goes and is that string do you pull that there's a hook there and then there's only this one thing which got a hook at the end of it oh the hook goes here must be go through here. no that don't fit Okay, I thought maybe the I thought maybe the hook went through this somehow, but I don't even I don't know. But I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, let's just not worry about that for now. I'm just gonna put this on here so we can get an idea of a size. So the kit does have like she has you know like baby little breastesses and she has a little detail there and um. So it's, it's shaped very much like a, um, a baby torso. Even the back have the indent in it and everything. I'll show it to y'all. Hang on, gotta get this. Gotta get you home with me tonight. Oh, child. That's why I can't do the whole... I don't know how people be working with these the strings. I've been needing a whole zip tie. All right. Gosh. It feel like that's as tight as it'll go. So... I'm going to try to tie it without it popping. Otherwise, I'll have to grab a zip tie. All right. So. All right. So now. Look at how long she is. And this is so she could do all kinds of poses like this. This is what caught my attention. You know, she could do all that. You know. This part is the part that I really like. She can do this. Like, she is going to be like a dream like I would get multiples of these done actually if I could so wait so yeah so you know she just her legs are gonna be flexible because of this all right and plus you're gonna cover all that up with clothes but you would I would think you would fill this up really tight this part just so that it's not too flimsy so that when it goes on the clothes, so when you put it on clothes, but for now, I just want to, and so her hands, this hand is open. 
nice nail beds very baby like hands too like um this hand looks a little bit more mature than this hand it's fatter and it's a little bigger and she got a fat palm so let me show you what i'm talking about see this hand and this hand to me so the hands are total are two different sizes actually um which it's kind of okay. <laughs> I guess I probably should check and make sure I got the right hand, but I guess I do. Because this hand is definitely... I didn't even think about that. See, you see this? This hand... Let me see if I put it on the head so you can see. Alright, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Or hang on. I don't know if you could tell, but I don't know. This one just looks fatter. But anyway, I'll double check to make sure. But I think these are the right hands. So, yeah. So this is the arms, which I think are appropriate so here's the head that everybody's questioning so this is the head I did not put eyes in um look at that face she has the cutest face cute little mouth little lips um it's funny her nose she actually has a nose shape like my granddaughter but she actually her mouth and everything she looks like my second daughter which um to me was a real plus so this is Mealy now in my opinion I think that she is very well she's 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 a, a very beautiful kid and I think she's she's a really good size and I think I'm gonna put Lim next to her so Lim is a fatter baby Lim thighs is meant to be fatter and his hands are fatter now keep in mind I put my limb on a way much bigger body just so he can be close to her size hang on So, so he is probably almost her size. She's still a little bit longer than him as far as lengthwise. And then he got his leg bent. But if his legs were straight, they would be probably the same size as far as lengthwise. Headwise, his head is way bigger. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hang on. His head. <laughs> oh my god. I, hang on. Let me see if I can. Alright. His head right here. Is is way bigger. But then her, the way her head is shaped. It goes more at an angle. Which also t changes. How heads look. I think limb head circumference is maybe like 18. I don't know. I could be wrong. But 17 and a half or something like that. And hers is 16. But she's a more petite baby. And if you look in the pictures closely, you would see that the, the sculpt was a petite um, sculpt. But here's my opinion. This is my raw opinion. Y'all can take it or leave it. And this is, this is how I feel. And I'm just being honest with you guys. This is the part where I was talking about how prototype artists do more of making the doll look appealable, appealing, <laughs> appealable, appealing to the collectors um, where they are more concentrated on 
excellent photos and selling the kit. They don't really care about showing the details or the true size of the babies and stuff like that. And things like this happen where you have some very upset collectors at that point because they feel like they've been misled. Now, I'm to the prototype defense. A lot of the sculptors are saying, you know, they of course they want this kit to sell. And they have a short amount of time to do it in some cases. And sometimes they have a little bit of time, more time. I don't know. I haven't done a whole lot, but from what I've heard from other artists that they are working against very limited time restraints and but the average of the community you guys take a Saskia and you guys will put long hair and make Saskia into a toddler you would take a you know let's let's even take Cody Bear which was intended to be a three to six month old baby being that it was sculpted from the portrait of a three month old baby that was just really really chump, chummy chubby <laughs> chummy chubby and you know for me when I did the prototype and like I said not knocking any of the other prototypes I love them all but I'm just saying for me I was trying to make Cody Bear more baby to appeal to what I saw him as in person because I saw him really being just a big baby and not really like a toddler but the kid is big enough for the community wise to where we would make it a toddler oh my gosh this video is so long but I just feel like I, I feel like the prototype artists are under pressure to do what sells so they dress these babies very mature like um, a lot of them did the clothing and stuff like that looked a lot older. Now, the one that I fell in love with, to me, she dressed the baby age appropriate. And I really think that she is, in fact, I, I honestly feel like she's more of a, of a two to three year old. She's really kind of long because of how long she is and stuff for me. She's way bigger than, for me, she's bigger than a one-year-old. She's definitely, I would say, you know, a good 18 months. But then, like I said, I didn't have really, you know, fat toddlers. Um, and I think, I think that uh, most African-American babies, and I could be wrong, don't, don't quote me on this. I think that our babies... Um, toddlers are not as chubby but I could be wrong but um for me my and my one of my daughters but she was on the thick side but as she got to be a toddler she just kind of she became this you know to, you know regular um size baby but my second daughter never had an inch of fat on her and she still don't have an inch of fat on her and this baby definitely fits that. And the feet are good size. And if you look at it, to be honest, her feet is probably about the same size as limbs. Because limb feet are not that big. Let me show y'all that. And then I'm going to go. So I don't know why people was complaining about the feet. I was quite happy with the size of the feet, to be honest. I don't. I, I, I guess people just wanted a childlike. I don't know what they was thinking of. A 5-year-old? A 10-year-old? I don't know. But if you look at limb feet, in fact, her feet is a little bit, they might be almost the same size, but I think they're a little bit longer, to be honest. They're just more narrow. They might be the same size, just shape different. Yeah, they're skinnier, but that's her feet. They're a little bit skinnier, not much. This feet is a little bit more fat. Wait. Yeah. 
Yeah, this feet is a little bit more fat, fatter. It's, it's a different shape. And yeah, so I <laughs> I really think that her proportions are spot on for me. Um, and I really, really, like I said, I think the pro prototype, I forget what the artist name that did that one. I think she did an amazing job. And so anyway, also, I'm just going to tell you guys this. I am going to attempt to paint my own. Now, putting it together is going to be a whole nother story. But I got to overcome this, this challenge of not being able to paint German vinyl if I want to this, you know, toddlers. I was going to have somebody else paint it for me. And I might still have somebody paint one for me. But this particular kit, I'm going to take my time and try to paint it myself. And then I'll worry about putting it together later. But for me, I feel like I need to figure it out. I mean, there's a lot of artists that paint it. There's a lot of artists that won't paint them. And I know it's a lot of freaking work. I wouldn't ever paint one for anyone else because I hear that it's just a lot of work. Because it's going to take a lot to paint. And then some. they said sometimes the paint don't stick. And you have to like mat it before you, you know, paint on it some more and stuff. But some people say just keep painting on it and it'll work. So we're going to see how that go. But I am definitely going to give it a shot. This is the way the back of her look. I'm sorry, I'm going to move all this stuff. This is the way the back of her look. So she, oh, her leg, she lost a leg. Her little, um, she does have a the pleated part. And then, like I was telling y'all, she have that dip in the back like you normally would. So, yeah. So if she's weighted, she's weighted right. Once she's weighted right, she will be. able so I don't know that will go like that but anyway so that is <laughs> my my girl all right so I just thought I would you know like I said I would let you guys See her and you know I don't know let me know what you think I'm gonna zoom in on her feet really quickly so that you guys can get an idea of her feet size I'm gonna flip her legs over flip her over so you guys can see her legs up close Hang on. I know this is a long very long long review but I think it's needed so the back of her legs got detail in it too. I like that. The sculpting is beautiful on it. Um, the knees got detail in it. I love that. Um, so I really do love her. This is her, her chest plate. And then the back, like I told you, got that dip. Her hands. in her head and I just think that I'm gonna Ooh. I think her head sits on her body and I, I think that it's, it doesn't look like she got a Beetlejuice head. Like her head is too small for her body to me. And I'm, I'm a real stickler about that. So anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, one last thing, her ears. Her ears are super little to me. They are, um, 
her ears are about the same size as Luca's or you know well Aspen ears is bigger than her ears actually but I was saying that and my girlfriend showed me her ears she sent me a picture of her ears and also um Gabby Gabby has really tiny ears and she is eight years old and her ears are not too much bigger than this so that is still realistic everybody don't have big ears and it looked cute on her so anyway I absolutely love her I think the features are beautiful on her and I'm excited so thanks guys for watching bye bye